As you heard earlier in the broadcast, British Prime Minister Theresa May survived a no-confidence vote yesterday by her own Conservative Party. But she says she will not seek re-election in 2022. Joining me now by Skype is Desmond Lockman, resident fellow at American Enterprise Institute. Desmond, welcome back to our broadcast. Thanks for inviting me again. The no-confidence vote largely was over the prime minister's handling of Brexit. Why has it been so difficult for her to find support for her proposal? Her proposal that she's come back with from Brussels really doesn't satisfy anybody. Those who want to remain in the European Union feel that this is going to take them out, whereas those who want to be out of the European Union feel that this doesn't take them out decisively enough. It leaves them in the European Union for at least another two years and possibly indefinitely until they solve the tricky issue of what to do about an Irish border. So basically, she's united the country and everybody is against this deal, but they're against the deal for different reasons. Is she the best person then to land concessions from European lawmakers? Can she eventually win the support of England's parliament? Well, hopefully she can. Hopefully the Europeans will make concessions to her that will be sufficient for her to convince those who are skeptical of this arrangement, those who are on the hard Brexit line. But the truth of the matter is that we're running out of time. We don't have time to bring a new person into a negotiating role. It's a very complex negotiation. And the potential candidates to replace her are very divisive characters, either on the hard Brexit side or else on the Remain side. Her basic problem is she's got a very divided party, and it's very difficult to keep them together. This has been going on for two years now. It's likely to continue going on. Very difficult to satisfy everybody on a deal. What effect, if any, is Brexit in, out, going to have on the U.S.? Well, the case that the United States has to worry about is a hard Brexit, that if the United Kingdom leaves without an arrangement and it's a very disorderly process, that could be very damaging to both the United Kingdom economy and also to the European economy. And what we've got to be concerned about in the United States is that there are many other areas of the European economy that are now looking problematic. For instance, in France, we've got this yellow vest movement that is undermining confidence in the president. That is going to be a hit to the French economy. The Italians are in a big budget battle with the European Commission. They're being led by a populist government. They're losing confidence. So if we get on top of this, the United Kingdom, that could impact the whole of the European economy. And the European economy is a very large economy, and we're living in a globalized world. So the, what occurs in Europe can really come back and affect us here in the United States. Very good. Desmond Lockman, resident fellow at American Enterprise Institute in Washington, D.C. Thanks for breaking this down for us. Thanks for having me again.